Well, the Reserve Bank of Australia went ahead and did uh, what most traders were expecting, and that is they left rates at 7.25%, but they made a couple of interesting comments about the fact that um, petrol prices, uh, tight financial m environment, etc., is kind of doing their job for them and constraining growth. So I think traders are walking away from this with the attitude that um, there is a much lower probability for uh, rate increases in the near term in Australia. So, uh, of course, what's going on? Well, you know, we can follow up on a conversation we had yesterday. We got a breakout on the Euro Aussie. So uh, t up above this inverted head and shoulders, we got the shoulder over here, head here, shoulder, uh, break up above the neckline that I'm showing there. As traders are anticipating a much more hawkish comment and, and action, from the European Central Bank. So we've got the European Central Bank due with a rate announcement as well uh, that's coming out uh, this week. And everyone is expecting from 4 to 4.25 percent and much more hawkish comments. So uh, I know a lot of traders are going to be watching for is this a, a one-time deal or are they going to indicate that there may be a pattern of these rate hikes, which if that happens, we could see much more upside potential here on the Euro Aussie. But but uh, 130, 140 pips to the upside here so far is not too bad for a breakout on this particular cross. Now, I'm just looking at the charts today because um, y y you know it's, it's oftentimes you look at your fundamental, what's going on fundamentally, but what's also going on technically. And th there's some interesting stuff. So, for example, let's just draw a line right across the uh, previous resistance, April and May, support in late May, June. And we're back here again. So we've just bounced off that uh, uh, 9,500 level or in within that range. We're still well within this consolidation range that was occurring uh, through May and June. So the, the market hasn't really broken down. And I see a lot of traders immediately jumping onto a short Aussie dollar. Now, that doesn't change my opinion about the Euro Aussie cross. That's That's totally different. But th this is a discussion about whether we think that the Aussie dollar is going to go down. So the Aussie against the U.S. dollar is going to go down. Do we really think the U.S. dollar has just a ton of strength here that's going to outpace the Aussie? I'm not getting too bearish until I see a break of some of these technical levels that we're looking at right now here at 9,500 and a change in the commodity market. So l l let me show you a couple of things here that specifically. First of all, gold prices have continued to break out of this descending wedge that was in line with the previous trend. So we had this descending wedge occurring uh, through the first and part of the second quarter here this year, uh, uh, which broke out a, a, just a few days ago. We can zoom in just a little bit on this. And you can see even today we've got another uh, rally. We've got gold prices up around, or gold futures rather, up around 945. So they're up about $17, uh, $17 an ounce today. So they, they, from a commodities perspective, particularly the relationship that the Aussie has with gold, which is something that I've talked about uh, many times before, most Forex traders are pretty familiar with this relationship. A big up day on gold compared with a uh, negative day on the Aussie oftentimes spins around to be a very nice trading opportunity, even in the short term and sometimes triggering a longer term trade. A uh, classic example was just a couple of days ago. So we had a big down day. You can see that here on the chart here on the Aussie dollar uh, compared with a big up day in the commodity prices, particularly gold. And the following day, the Aussie snapped right back, uh, eventually just poking up above re resistance here and then before coming down as a reaction to the RBA's announcement. So despite the fact that we didn't get good news on the interest rate front, uh, which is certainly information that we can use uh, to pair the Aussie against much stronger uh, currencies such as the uh, Euro right now, or uh, it, it, it's until we see a real breakdown in commodity prices, I don't know how bearish I'm going to get. So this is more of a hedging situation versus an exit or even a reversal uh, looking to uh, short the Aussie dollar. Uh, I'm, I'm not convinced that the U.S. dollar has enough strength behind it to be able to really push the Aussie dollar down too much further. So it's one of these situations where there may be actually a nice short-term opportunity to catch the bounce back up to resistance here 
at 96.50 as the Aussie spins around to follow uh, to follow gold gold and commodity prices uh, after the initial gut reaction that traders had to the RBA's announcement. 